Frederick Siegel and Benjamin Morard contemplate the paradox of solitude in the hyperconnected age on their animated short film, The Lonely Orbit. The idea for The Lonely Orbit came to me kind of after, after my studies. It was about feeling a bit lonely, like after being around uh, so many people all the time and having your, your tight group of people um, around and working together and being at the same place. And then suddenly when you get out of school, you, you don't have this anymore. And you have to, you have to really work to, um, to keep this connection. Well, in the early phase, when it was um, about developing the script, it was mostly Freddy who, who made, who wrote like story beats. And uh, he would um, constantly uh, pitch them to me, sort of, and I would uh, play a devil's advocate and kind of challenge the ideas and so forth. I think it even started with one if, with one image that uh, Freddy had in his head and sort of built the story around it, then burning up like the final image, we changed it, like uh, the storyboard and everything, of course, like it went through so much changes. But this one image, yeah, it just kept coming back and it was there from the beginning, so. The deceptively austere style updates space age aesthetics, working within the constraints of a limited color palette. It took us a long time to decide on on the colors itself. The warm blue is is like a sign of the of the coziness and the, and the nice feeling you have when you yeah when you are with your friends. Usually the space has like a colder color, but in our film the blue, the warm blue, is the symbol of the space. And the white color, there's the white, there's the white is more of the like clinical and and cold um, part on on Earth, like in the center uh, where the, like in the control center. The third color, the orange, is like the like the clash between the warm and the cold. In the vastness of space, the lonely orbit gracefully wear its filmic influences. Me, I was inspired by space movies like Interstellar and Gravity. I was really also touched by the by the stories, and and I, it's the first time I, I realized you can really yeah make a story very emotional. And there also was Gravity was a huge influence because of this floaty camera style that it has all the time. It was just something that it try to at least mimic a little bit. It's hard to reproduce it, <laughs> but it was it was kind of a challenge to, to have this grounded camera when the movie is back on Earth and to have this, uh, yeah, this floating um, feeling when you're up in space. Most science fiction films reflect distrust towards technology, but the lonely orbit lands between hope and despair technology is something it's here we can't like we, we can't wish it away so we we have to use it and there's parts that are bad but also if we use it the right way it's 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 beautiful watch the lonely orbit now at popflick